you're an MC, you remember your first rap. Right. And you remember your last one. You sure do. Okay. It's a big gap between that and that. It's then. a big gap. Right? A motherfucker ain't got good. Boy. You know, my first rap so, was terrible. Man, you know, mine was kind of kind of whack. Mine was garbage. It's called the LP rap. Listen up, homeboy, I ain't trying to cap, but you about to hear the story of my LP rap. I was on the house, without a doubt, selling cocaine in the homie dope house. And before you know, the sun went down. They said you're going downtown. They took you to control, they took away your clothes, they gave you some khakis with a whole bunch of hoes, and then you went, then you look out the window through your screens and bars, just thinking how your life is going so far, but then you say, what's next? I'll go to court. Then the judge looked at your records and reports and said, young man, you never learned a crime, don't pay. Sent your ass to CYA, right? And they go on like that, start talking about Judge Dorn, mm -hmm. just pitching them over there and shit, because that, them was the ones that was hanging me. said the name of this nigga over there just Huh, mm -hmm. huh, Pitch Dorn, man. Well, yeah, well, yeah. yeah Inglewood, Dorn. Yeah, man, had it, man, got sent down twice. But yeah, man. You but know, did you? But did you believe in that rap? Yeah. That's the key. That's yeah. why you made it. Yeah. Like my first rap, I believed in it, mm -hmm. even though it was whack. I hate when motherfuckers play it or people are like, I got this song with Me you. Me too, man. I got this with you. Yeah. And they be and happy. playing like you, like you proud of. Yeah, they be happy like nigga. I found the song, nigga, before I, you had it. Be done, like, nigga. Like, nigga, like nigga, nigga, give where's the tape? Yeah. Uh, give me you don't got it now, bitch. Yeah. Is it on CD? I, Give me I it. See that? Man. Oh, man, man, good. Man, it feels good to know that I wasn't. Man, there. one of the homies got all my shit, too. This nigga love telling me, too. Dog, whenever you want to make some real money, you know I got all your shit before you ever do it. Man, that ain't going to make no real money. This nigga got all your shit. Yeah. yeah, put that shit out, nigga, right? Yeah, like, nigga, that's that, that bullshit. Shit gonna go, yeah, please don't put it out. And when I die, please don't put it out don't after put it I'm out. dead. Because yeah. I'm going to wake back up and come back as a butterfly and Butter bite you and in your ass. And get that head. motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> yep. D-Mac, my homie D-Mac, he know all my shit. All of it? All of it. I'm talking about them old raps, the weed rap. <laughs> Bar Barnaby Jones, <laughs> D-Mac know all of my big D-Mac. Barnaby Jones music was hard. Boom, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Was that Quincy Jones? Well, that's Barney Miller. Uh, yeah. What, 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 Quincy? <laughs> well, what didn't Quincy produce? You know. <laughs> hey, these your old ass uncles sitting on the porch, chopping up game, you understand me? The way they used to do back in the 70s and the 80s. Man, I could pull up to any one of my auntie's houses or my grandma's house and it'd be some, one of my uncles out there sitting out there chopping up game, giving me game, giving me a quarter to go get him something from the store, tell me to keep the change or, you know, make me go do something outrageous to get a dollar from him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, run down the street and back, nigga, and go pull a tree and grab an orange and come back and I'll give you a dollar. Yeah. You got it 15 meant seconds. It meant something. It really did. And I probably was Mr. Gilmore probably. <laughs> You didn't land it on Mr. Gilmore property, your ass is fucked up. Yeah, in a real way. But it was for something, though. I mean, we used to it pick fruits off of trees, right? Like in the Wrigley neighborhood, they had the best fruits. Peaches and apricots and pomegranates and all that shit. So you would walk through the alley and then you would see because they had them gates. And they'd be like, all right, well, this is the one we're going to hit. Nigga have a bag and hope it ain't no dog back there. And they got to hit that motherfucking gate and fill that bag up with fruit. Nigga, that was like one of our summer vacation trips, nigga, yeah. to go get them fruits from the Wrigley. Yeah. Some yeah, good right fruit, away. them pomegranates and them fucking apricots. Yeah. Hey, in Compton, we used to uh, go swimming in Mona Park, right? Mm. A gang of chlorine, right? But that's where we used to go. We used to go from Pocket Hood and walk down the tracks. And on the way back, it was a gang, man. I don't know why, man. Compton got a gang of white peach trees and, and loquats. And we used to fuck them loquats up, man, on the way back. We tried spitting out big ass seeds, <laughs> walking on the tracks. Mm, yeah. That G shit from the 80s. Yeah, yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, hell yeah, man. They don't even make them kind of trees no more. Yeah, yeah. Why not? I don't know, That's man. why we were so healthy coming up as kids, because we think, could always grab us some fruit yeah. and keep it rolling, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Get I us think some the fruit. whole, I think the whole thing, it, you know, the game that you got, Back then, and, and all the way on down to the produce, man. Man, my grandmama had a garden, nigga. Well, she had greens and greens, everything grew tomatoes wild. Tomatoes. And, and see, mom still got greens growing wild over the gate. All of that good in shit. In Pomona. Yeah, all that shit would, would I pull, be. Like I pulled through something after a show, something to be three, four in the morning. I drive down there, man, I'm telling you, man, and pick big ass ears of greens off hanging in the alley, that man. That shit still work. Right nigga. now, today. It still work, nigga. Yeah. It's just so fast yeah. with the new shit that's right now. Everybody moving so fast. Man, ain't it cold? How, how you could look at a youngster, man, and tell him something. 
and you could damn near watch it go through one ear and, and go out the next one. When, and he know, Ned, damn well, and then we just told your, your partner the same shit, look at him. What's wrong with you? Mm. So when we tell these niggas, man, don't be thinking with your dick, boy. You motherfuckers think pimps is 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 is, uh, this, is funny, or or uh, you know motherfuckers making uh, hoes do shit. They think pimps are not educational. What they don't know is that pimps are one of the smartest motherfuckers that you could imagine. First of all, they manage in the Fortune 500 company, and, <laughs> and they gotta have a mind state and mentality to deal with a bunch of attitudes that come from women. First of all, when you're dealing with women, two women in one room is too much to deal with anyway. If you can control more than two women's minds at one time, you're a genius. Mm-hmm. For a square, uh, um, you know, it's almost torture. Yeah. To a square. But to a P, shit. It's, 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 a, it's a run. It's something needed. I think it's like a yeah. rush. It's like a fish out of water when right on. when the pee is in where he's supposed to be at. He's like he's loving to be in that water. He's swimming and he's dancing around the water, but the one that don't know what he's doing, he's out of water. 